It's the last day of campaigning. Prabhu Subianto appears to be in high spirits. And with good reason. In the run-up to voting day on Wednesday, polls put him comfortably ahead of his rivals, two popular former governors, Anis Basweden and Ganjar Pranowo. Al Jazeera was invited backstage to meet the politician who is expecting to be Indonesia's next president. I think all the, all the figures show in that way. You see also the, the grassroots enthusiasm. Uh, all the figures show that we will go one round. From the fervor of my supporters everywhere, I think uh, they feel that our team is the real hope for them. More than half of all voters are under 40, and at least 63 million are 17 to 30 year olds. The young today, they are more uh, rational, they are more critical, they are smarter. They sense what is, uh, what is genuine and what is not genuine. And I think they are very concerned about their future. Prabowo has tried twice to become Indonesia's president and lost both times. But this time he has an advantage, the support of President Joko Widodo. The former rivals have formed an unlikely alliance. Prabowo has been a government minister since 2019. His running mate is the president's eldest son. Choosing 36-year-old Gibran Rakabuming Raka was controversial. The constitution technically bars under 40-year-olds from the vice presidency. The fact that there's, there's a vice president who's under the age of 40, which is normal in many countries in the West, but in Indonesia now it's become some sort of an issue. I think because of the fact that not only is under 40, but because of the fact he's the son of President Joko Widodo, I think that's what what makes some circles, uh, let's say, feel bad. I think. But that's politics, right? You cannot please everybody all the time. Decades-old allegations of human rights abuses during his time in the military as Special Forces Commander have been raised by his rivals and by rights organizations. So how will he win over even his strongest critics? Because I will work for the good of the Indonesia, not for just a certain segment. You know, you know I, I proved it when I... The last election, uh, I lost badly in uh, Nusa Tenggara Timur. But when I became Minister of Defense, I had the chance. I built, I think, one of the biggest and best polytechnics in Nusa Tenggara Timur, in the province that I lost. Indonesia look yep. like under your presidency? I hope Indonesia will be uh, dynamic, uh, economically better off, but most importantly, I want to alleviate poverty. I want to get rid of hunger. It's the closest he has been to the presidency in his political career. The frontrunner will soon know if he's third time lucky. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Jakarta. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.